Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Christian from Berlin. Two tips before we start. First, if you usually jump straight to the slow replay, watch at least the beginning of the lesson this time because I give some valuable tips for, on how to play stride piano that might save you some time. Leave a like if you enjoy this one. Let's go and learn, enjoy. Usually I start my lessons right at the piano, we go there in a little bit, but for this purpose I have to sit down like here because I want to show you a couple of tricks. First thing is, what does the student do when he or she focuses and concentrates? The head moves to the... down like this, or to the sheet music. Uh, is it D? E? What, what happens now? The hands get out of sight. Ha ha ha, you can't, you can't see them at the same time. So. Always make sure you're moving back again to have at least um, from the angles you have, the, you can view the hands. Very important tip, also the following. <coughs> the student also does uh, this thing. Playing, bop, bop, looking, bop, bop. The right hand is maybe just playing one note in the right hand. Left hand, yeah, you must look at the beginning, the jumps. Right hand is just playing one note. What does the student do? Jump, jump, one note. Oh, playing one note. <sighs> he's staring at the, he's losing the contact with the left hand to play one note in the right hand. This, 
student does this all the time. So very, this is a very important tip. I show this also a little bit more in the, in the, in the lesson is trust your hand to do simple stuff. There can be hard stuff that you, what you must look, but very often it's just, uh, you, you can leave your hand there, close your eyes, and you still find it. We practice that a little bit in the lesson. There are many um, moments we have to investigate, so I will try to resist to be funny and at the same time stay German, uh, so we can have a bit of structure here and not so much chatter. First tip is select the choruses you think you can play. There are five to select from. You don't, you don't have to play all five. If you insist on, on playing the hardest bits, you're just wasting month over month on work of, uh, uh, over working that one and still might fail. So just select your three um, choruses that you think you can play. Um, then left hand. <clears throat> Strat piano uh, in its earliest phase was uh, very much leaning on the rack time uh, like uh, uh, playing the root and the fifth uh, or doubling the root bah, bah, and playing the triad. Now we do a little uh, error a little bit later already like uh, boring to the uh, more rate charges stuff who uh, took a little bit from from jazz always in that we play a rootless voicing. This would be a rootless voicing. We, the root is played anywhere. We don't have to repeat it in this voicing so we can play other intervals. And it sounds such, <laughs> it sounds such nicer. Excellent English, Christian. Um, so look at this. It's the C7-9. When I play the root, you can see it also in the display. And sometimes we leave out the fifth. So and it's really important that you internalize this voicing, that they do not distract you when you play the right hand stuff and have to jump. So you don't want to think about um, all the time about the voicing, so really internalize them. What do they look like? Ah, okay. And then put your hands in the lap and play them again. Okay, this is C7, C7 with a 9 or C7, just like that. Uh, I also use this C6, which is this one. Yeah, remember those? And I played this one also with the fifth here. Okay, the F one, same thing. Root is played here. And I play then most of the time this one with the seventh here, the major third here, the fifth here. And sometimes this one, which is again a bit Ray Charles here because we have this fourth sound, these perfect fourths in a series. And what do we play then uh, for the A? And there I use a really nice voicing. Learn that. It will help you also in many other slow blueses. Wonderful. So we have the A where we squeeze the, um, the sharp nine below the major third. And we have the augmented fifth here. So you see it's uh, sharp nine, sharp five. It's also got the altered. Then we have the D7. Here, played like this. And the G7, I think most of the time, I played like this. Or maybe this one. No, I think most of the time like this. Okay, again, you must understand it and remember the voice in the 7, the major 3, and the 6 from G. Or as it says in the displays, display the 13. You see, 6 and 13 are the same. I am a little bit fast, but this is not a tutorial for easy level. So I hope yeah, you follow me, otherwise the tutorial would last um, whatever till 5050. Uh, okay, here we go. Then you should just uh, uh, get familiar with these jumps. Duk, dum, duk, duk. Jumping between the root and the fifth and F. And the A as well, practice that in the left hand because you have to practice um, both hands almost by heart that you can play them um, without looking at the notes or something. Really uh, internalize them because then you can take away, take a little distance from what you play and uh, widen your horizon. And so you can, you have a little bit of uh, automation in each hand and then you can manage to bring them together. So you don't have to always do like with the head, like ing, 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 ing. 
Okay, now. So, I, but I was still quite merciful in the left hand because uh, you could also. There's also the tenth. Uh, yeah, like here or seventh in the left hand. It's not the hardest, but I chose. Um, then next step, we have to look at this jump from. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. And then, uh, hold on, yeah. And, and this you should also learn by heart. We go from the F sharp nine, this is the 11 here, in case you're interested, yeah. And it's a really nice transition. I only used the one tradition, there are more, you could also, yeah, but uh, I wanted to do a little bit for you. So, Remember this, play it with me, put your hands on the piano right now. Play this, and this you should practice separately. I was here, I'm sorry. Yeah, so I'm sorry, okay. So we have this doom. come to that later the block chords here next thing yes we have to do jumps then there's a moment uh, where we have um, uh, hold on here again Ba, 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 ba. You know, we are in a, in a triplet rhythm here, and it's the first two triplets. Ba, 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 ka, da, ba, ba, da, ba. Okay, so, and what do we have here? So, mm, mm. Yeah, what is this? And I must explain that also uh, for the sheet music buyers and readers. Hey, thank you for your money. Um, also, inflation is pretty bad, and uh, I didn't want to talk. Okay, so ba, 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 ba. imagine this, ba, ba, ba. and in the sheet music, I did this more than this goes. It's a little trill, but upside. And we have downside in classical or up. So, and this is like ba, 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 ba. we have wa, ba, ba, mm, ba, ba. that's the best way to describe it. Mm, ba, ba, mm, ba, ba, mm, ba, ba. Just a moment later, and just one bar later, we have this thing here. Two things uh, uh, we will talk about. It's like uh, we are on D7 now, but the right hand uh, is a quite, it's a C lick. Yeah. And then, bam, ba, da, ba. It's again, we do this, uh, and think of it as a triplet, once again. One and two, two and two. So we play this thing as a kind of arpeggiated down three notes. We don't count this because it's a, it would be a triplet on a triplet. <laughs> my score, uh, my uh, score app, sc uh, score app, score app, my uh, software to do these scores uh, doesn't even know what that would be. So that's the thing about blues. The notation is really hard for some of the blues uh, idioms. Okay. So, so we have three notes here in the on the middle triplet. It goes ba 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 mm, ba ba mm, ba ba mm, ba ba mm, ba 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 mm, ba da. And here we go. This is also an important moment because you will um, see that later when we have more block chords. We are G now, and we have this diminished chord on, on F sharp. Yeah. And remember that. Remember these chords. Oh, we, we do them, uh, we do them. Ah, no, they're coming back in a, in a minute. So, um, and they're coming back in full force, the next bar. Okay.
and we will have a look at least at the, when I played them the first time so you know what it is and they're not so hard and uh, we have the we have the F7 here and uh, if you if you uh, little hen hen ha, little uh, pause your little pause are too are too uh, small to play this if there's too much straight you play this almost as fine sometimes my fingers slip to the difficult bits without wanting to torture you so but here we are okay you can play this just like this and then we have these chords okay now pay attention we have the uh we are on f but you could play them also on c we have the f and this is the let um, let's see it from the c angle uh c angle although we are on f Let's uh, think about it on, on uh, as if there was on C, but it's easier. Um, we have the fifth, the sixth, the root, and the minor third. Are you with me? We have the C fifth, the sixth, and the root, and the blues minor third. And they are clearly borrowed chords. Here, now, especially this one is now very borrowed here. This is the D minor 7. Can you see it? Yes, you can, because you're clever students, you're my students. Here, this is a minor 7 here. So, and they sound great. We have this melody going down and we supply it with a fat, fat chord underneath. This is where fatness is something positive. And then the D minor 7, and we're landing uh, usually here on this C6. Okay, remember those. They will, um, they will, uh, in all kinds of formations, help you in blues. Bop, bop, bop. I encourage you to do also bop or keep up if, as if you like. It, it just sounds nice. So we have some variation of this one. For example, you can also play them like this, like the one before. This, the F sharp diminished. It's just one note different, and already. Just by wondering uh, the the outer outer voices wondering and the inner voices stay the same you see the inner voice these stay all the time they stay the same and only this time we go to the c6 and in boogie yeah they're everywhere so and they sound really, really hard, but the hand is not doing much. That's the trick. That's the trick. The hand is not doing much, and the inner voices often stay the same. And here I do, uh, I do this. Uh, I play another, like this one. Again, it's a little bit of melodic motion here, and but this can stay the same. So we have then, ba, 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 and. Now, here I uh, uh, encourage you um, to do something. I encourage you to, <laughs> uh, in the beginning, that is, uh, uh, trust your fingers. Trust your fingers if you don't trust your... Nah, that's bad to say if you don't trust your wife or husband. You should. Everybody should. Okay, if you don't trust your neighbor, that's fine. But you can trust your own fingers. So... You are tempted again with your head to go left, right, left, right. So now I want you to play this with me, this and this. Play it with looking once, twice. Okay. And then I want you to do something that I do with my students sometimes. You can close your eyes, but you can also put the... Rhythm and Blues Classic, three decades of Rhythm and Blues Classics, if you have one, uh, over it. And then play it again. Ah. And you will see, you can. You can. So, um, like the students, I go like this. Bah, 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 and I say, that's, you know, that's too much. You know, let's, let's be serious now. And then I just put something over on top. And then, ah. They, I can trust my fingers, they know it, because it's nearby, the fingers know their way, it's, it's not like, that's tough, 
but here is nearby. That means play these without looking, learn to play them without looking, and trust your fingers and observe your head, and uh, then you can uh, focus on the jumps, you know? Even here, if you should do so. Because they find their way here. Very important hint from me. I give, uh, give away all my dirty secrets. So, um, now. Then we have in bar number, starting bar number 14. Bar number 14, I think we're still in the first chorus. And then we have, what did I play here, Christian? Okay. Yeah, this bit here. And that's a typical Ray Charles sound. Well, everybody plays it by now, and you should practice this. The one finger slide down. Not the one finger slide down. I don't know what your, where your finger slide down, but one finger sliding down the note here. Okay, that's also a really great sound. And then we have again, again, these same chords, just rhythmically different, and now by now you know them, and you can learn them much easier and play them blindly. Then, yes, 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 we move on. Here we have uh, something, uh, I think it's a, a second chorus. Here, play the arpeggio. Play this arpeggiated one and two and three. and here we have probably the toughest uh, moment uh, for you in this piece. Is it up here? Yeah, it's up here. Uh, one and two and and this is tough because you see you have these. Uh, you mu you must play it like this because we want the seventh here and then. We play, I want to play. So you can play here, you can always leave uh, out the inner note. If you cannot s handle something, you just play here. You leave out the inner note, the inner voice. Here's the middle, and you leave out the lower bit. Drop the lowest note. Okay? And then, same here. Uh, and if you cannot roll this, these uh, fat chords, then you just roll the outer bits here, the octaves, okay? Okay, then we have... That's easy peasy compared to the rest. Then we have this beautiful thing. I, I think I heard it from Ray Charles himself, and I like it. Um, so we have this... Hold on. Oh, Christian, come on. Now I have it. Very sorry to waste your time here. Okay, it's like we go, it's a bar number 26 for the sheet, sheet music people owners, sheet, for the people owners, sheet music owners. Yeah, we have, um, so this here, this you should practice also. Here the two finger snap, and here the snap here. You gotta get let go, and it just repeats. It's just the hardest bit, I just wanna show you. Because it's now just one bar, one bef bar before midnight. And here comes the first um, uh, hint um, to what is coming a li little bit later. Now, okay, we have we are in bar now 26, 27. Um, it's repeated. Now. And these are actually 32. Is it 30, 30 second or 32 two notes? 30 second notes. So, it's wonderful to the hand. It's it sounds it sounds like a million dollars. 
Bam, bam. Now what is it? It's uh, we have ba, 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 and this is uh, actually um, a, a triplet uh, where the middle sixteenths, where the second and third triplet, duck, 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 ba, 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 where the others are dotted sixteenths. They are played swung. Swing, you know. Do you hear it? It's not. But bum. And you better get that not by counting, but just by copying what I what I do here. This is uh, the beat. Uh. And one. Okay. So we come to that uh, to, to this. Uh, um, dotted 16s a little bit later. Sorry that I have to do these, uh, sh show this German robot pace. Um, almost a military march here through the song. Uh, and of course we have to cover more, 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 more. Um, mm. that, that's just what you know anyway, and that's not very hard. Also very very chargy. Ba bam. And here we have ah uh, we have that just oh, easier even than what we did in the beginning. Um, we where we had this. Uh, no, it's, yeah, it's a little bit. It's a little bit like the one before, but I showed you now these block chords. And now you know them. Now, now we have come to this uh, dotted 16s I was announcing. And of course we have this. Um, hold on. Here we have a kind of a decoy. It's kind of simulating a double time because we play these. Um, and these feel like they, they are like regular dotted eighth note, like but hey, that's not right. Uh, they're actually sixteenth note because our usually eighth note is like one and two and three and four and one and this our regular our our regular swing eighth and these are are swung sixteenth. So we have a feeling there is a double time in the right hand, not in the left hand, right hand. That's just what you need to know, but it's easy to play. Almost like a brass section. And it's really nice in the hand. Okay, but it's effective. Then uh, it continu I continue this with the... Um, um, with this digga digga sixteenths. Now, but this is really just blue scale. Um, and here, ba -ba 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 -ba. don't count this one. Just copy me. Da -da -da -ba -ba -da -da. Okay, then we're approaching the end. And we are still in this in the 16th, uh, in the 16th dotted notes here. But it's a nice effect, I like it. Coming to the glorious final chord, one and what is this? This is gospel, gospel, and blues copied from gospel and the other way around. So we have this, uh, then we have, we have the F, then we have the F sharp diminished, then we have. 
G in the bass, that's very cross yeah, And we go back to blues. And now Coco says, oh, listen to this. Oh, that's just wonderful. That is stolen a little bit from, uh, from, uh, from jazz, kind of. But it, it, this is, uh, uh, is uh, I heard it in blues pieces, big band blues and Ray Charles, like this chord. It's the, uh, well, what does the display say? F major, C, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I would recommend, uh, you know, when you listen to this, uh, when you look at this B flat major nine sharp five over C, um, I recommend the following. Um, this is the D triad over C, right? D over C, over C's. And just add the, add the B flat. It's really unacademical, but it's easy. D over C, add B flat. D over C, add B and up. Don't do that. Okay, quite something. We had to jump um, a couple of moments. It is not easy, um, but it's also good for study. Uh, if you just don't want to play it, if you re can resist playing it also just for study blues. I put a lot in it. I hope you enjoy it. Now it's coming the slow replay. Um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. We are learning here fast and furious.